No, my primary interest is yes. in phylogenetics. So when I go to deny myself, I would have to deny that I am a, an evolved ape. That's what I am. That's what we all are. The Quran, so far as I know, in denying evolution, denies itself. And you are telling me that what I have to instead adopt it deny is... The Quran doesn't, yeah. doesn't talk about evolution. Regardless. So. Yeah. What you're telling me, it talks about Adam and Eve and all of this, and the great flood that we know didn't happen and all of that. But apart from all that, you're asking me to accept this uber-galactic super-being. Well, the Quran doesn't talk about the great flood either. Okay. Okay. Just to clarify, the important point is you're asking me to accept this uber-galactic super-being, of which we have no evidence at all, from a, a system of religion which has, so far, only produced failure in every predictable sense, and you want me to believe that this thing will punish me simply for not believing, and it wants me to believe the least credible people and the most improbable stories, and I'll be punished if I don't. How is that not a criteria of gullibility? I would like to ask you to be honest today and accept that even if all the evidence pointed to a designed universe, you will still go for chance because in your book, you accept that the universe appears to be designed. In one of your interviews, which I was watching today, you accept that there is design in the universe. So would you like to be honest today and say that no matter how much evidence points to design, you will still go for chance? How dare you say that? How, how dare you ever accuse me of explaining life and the illusion of design by chance. The thing is, with regards to Richard Dawkins, what he's written, or someone has written on his website, he actually talks about Noah's flood and calls you a liar. No, he, he says that you are rejecting Noah's flood because someone brought it up with regards to the biblical narrative, and he said that never happened scientifically, therefore the Quran is also wrong because it measures the same thing. And you said no, the Quran doesn't. Please clarify. Okay, he's referring to the interaction I had with uh, a gentleman called Aaron Roth. Uh, Aaron Roth mentioned uh, the notion of evolution and I told him that evolution is not to be found in the Quran. Then he talked about the great flood. Aaron Roth did not mention uh, Noah's Ark as Richard Dawkins uh, seems to be thinking. I think uh, Dawkins needs to go back and watch the video again carefully uh, because he seems to be thinking that there was a discussion about Noah's Ark. Aaron Roy did not mention Noah's Ark, rather he mentioned the Great Flood. And I responded to him by saying there is no Great Flood in the Quran, which is exactly what the case is. Which is what the case is. Now, what does the Quran say? Quran talks about a flood. There is a flood of Noah in the Quran, but it is a local flood. When we talk about the great flood, it is a loaded term. That means the biblical great global flood. Quran doesn't talk about a biblical great global flood. Quran talks about a local Noah's flood. So I was right in that case, and Dr. Dawkins has grossly uh, misunderstood what I said to Aaron Ra. In fact, Dr. Dawkins calls me a liar, and uh, unfortunately, and he states, the story of Noah's Ark is in the Quran exactly as he said. The Muslim was lying as faith had so often do, presumably again in an attempt to wrong foot. So, Dr. Dawkins in fact was mistaken. I, I was dare lying. you. I was speaking the truth. There is no great flood in the Quran and it is very clear.
You can have people of diverse religions, diverse countries coming to the same conclusion in science. You'll never have two religious people agree. I'm sorry. <laughs> With due, with due respect, yeah, with due respect, uh, it's a bit of a culture clash in Colonel from Britain to have these intellectual discussions. And Britain is a little, little bit more nuanced. Now, maybe because you're a product of the Muslim world that you hate so much. Now, let me say, this, 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 is, this is where I think you are lying. You are lying. I have not said I hate the Muslim world. I didn't say you hate You should, them. you just said it. Shame on you. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I did. Well, I meant Shame on you. Let's not take... Shame on you. Listen, listen, listen.